It seems to be video model season at the moment because we have yet another text and image to video model release, this time from WAN Video, and it has an Apache 2 license to boot. You can see their showreel running there at the bottom, and just going through some of the features quickly, we get consumer grade GPU support. Now, even though they say 8 gig of VRAM, I think you can do it in under 6 gig of VRAM thanks to offloading. So, even those of you with really low end VRAM cards should be able to run the 1.3b model. Now, I've only been using it in Comfy UI so far, but it's worth noticing this one super interesting bit. As well as the usual text and image to video, this one can also do video to audio, allowing you to make some sound effects to go with your video. Now, I haven't figured that bit out yet, but I'm sure someone clever will do it soon. If that's you, do let me know down in those video comments. It also supports both English and Chinese text, and comes with a VAE which can encode videos up to 1080p. Scrolling down a bit, there's a summary of the things available. There's the three larger 14B models for text and image to video, as well as a much smaller 1.3B model for text to video. The 14B models support both 720 and 480p, with the 1.3B model doing best at just 480p. It can do 720p only, not as well. So far, I think WAN is one of the best video models I've played with, though high resolution generations can take quite a while. As for the install commands, don't worry about those as it's natively supported in Comfy UI. So let's take a look at that now so you too can generate AI videos at home on your own computer. Head on over to the Comfy UI examples page and you'll find everything you need to get going. Links are down in the video description. Of course, it's nicely explained there with all the links to the files you need, where to save them and a couple of workflows as well. Uh, we've got one for text to video and one for image to video and another one for image to video there, the 720p model. If you are a Comfy UI beginner though, don't start here and instead check out the beginner's videos and some of these with static images. I should also point out that if you're running an old version of Comfy, then don't be surprised if you get errors trying to use these workflows. Why? Well, because support for the new models is only available in... Yes, you've guessed it in the newly updated versions of Comfy UI. Here you can see I'm running version 0.3.18, which was released on the 26th of February. Time to check out the 1.3b model first then, as this is the one that most people will be able to run regardless of the GPU they've got. Here we can see then in the loading section, just pick whichever of those files you downloaded. I've got the 1.3 BF16 running along with the default weight type and the FP8 UMT5 clip model. Now with all those settings, I saw VRAM usage go to a uh, whopping 5 gig. So yes, I think most cards, so long as you've got about 6 gig of VRAM, will be able to run this nicely. For the prompts, you'll probably notice there's loads of Chinese characters down there in the negative one, and generally I've just left it as is. Feel free to test your own, of course, but it seems to work well as is. Positive prompt wise, well, it seems to handle almost anything you can throw at it, and the default of uni PC and simple is pretty decent. Various other options do work. I tried quite a few, though nothing really generally improves the results over this default. I have added a custom node here that allows me to save videos in MP4 format, and there from the name tag, you can see it's part of the video helper suite. But you can just use the native WebP. There, they've got the little fox icon, so this is the one that comes with it. Another option to save. As for some example videos, well, there we've got the result of that prompt, a dancing woman, and uh, yeah, it's not done too badly compared to Skyreels, but those arms are going a bit crazy, aren't they? Just like I did with Skyreels, here is what Wan creates for our sci-fi clip with an evil space kitten. Now, she's meant to be pressing the button and ejecting the evil kitten out of the airlock, but hey, never mind. Um, it did take just one minute and 40 seconds for 65 frames, though this is a 16 FPS video versus 24 you get with Skyreels. I did a few versions and, uh, well, maybe she still doesn't get around to pressing the button, but nevertheless, the results are hilarious.
Compared to the other video models I've tested recently, this does fewer weird things with limbs and wings and things like you can see with these rodent -y Phoenix generations. To crank things up a bit, you could go for the 14B model. Same workflow, I've just changed it there to the T to V 14B BF16. I've got the same prompt, so how does that compare to the 1.3 version? Ooh. OK, I think that's pretty good. Now, this took 11 minutes and 23 gig of VRAM for me. That's 65 frames, and you can easily see the quality increase in that sci-fi airlock scene. Still, it doesn't quite follow the prompt, but even at 832 by 480, it's very much better quality than 1.3. This model can do higher resolutions too, but be prepared to wait a while, especially if you've got something like a 3090. As for the Rodent Sorceress prompt, which I used on the Sky Reels as well, well, once again, the cheese does still exist, but this version has its own charm, I think. I do love the squirrel in the background, and uh, his little arms don't freak out. The magic is quite similar, but yeah, that's very good. I also wanted to see what changing a single word would do. So here is a claymation figure of a woman from Texas wearing a cowboy hat as she rides a mouse around her backyard. That's pretty good. So if I change just one word, so switch mouse to kangaroo. Oh, OK, that's that's very different. I wasn't sure if it'd be the same thing or not, but it's different. Oh, hop, hop, hop. Very cool. Cartoon stars are also not too bad in 14B, and my lava lamp with rodent faces here seems perfectly normal. Text to video isn't all you can do though, so let's take a look at this image to video workflow. This time I'm using the WAN image to video 480 14B BF16 model, along with an FP16 clip. This also has a clip vision file to download as well. This is my input image. And in the positive prompt, I've got a cybernetic female face of a woman from the future. She winks once and then smiles. At 640 by 480, 49 frames. This one took around six minutes and used up to 24 gig of VRAM. I did ask her to wink once and then smile. And as you can see, the result is close. It's a smile and a blink with a look away. But I think the result is decent enough anyway. Going up to 61 frames for my rodenty pal here, and this time I'm asking it to make him hold up that little paper love heart he's holding. If we go and have a look at what it's generated, that's pretty good, isn't it? There he is, he's definitely holding up that heart. He does change a little bit as he goes up and sort of grows stripes and a tail, but yeah, that's very nice. Running the telepathic dolphin test again from last week. Let's go and see what that result is like. That's not bad. I mean, the teeth look a little bit scary, but it is moving those flippers around, um, sort of. Yeah, not bad. We're not quite done yet, though, as there are some things you can do to help reduce that VRAM requirement. Over here, for example, City96 has provided loads of cut down models, which go all the way down to a meager 8 gig. Or if you've got 16 gig, probably that Q6 version will be ideal. To load those models, you will need to use their GGUF loader, which you can install via Comfy UI Manager. Another option is Kijai's WAN Video Wrapper. This one has a block swap feature, which can also help to reduce VRAM requirements, so certainly worth a look. If you're into things like training your own LoRa's, then Diffusion Pipe already has support. Uh, since yesterday, for supporting LoRa training on WAN 2.1 T to V variants. Certainly best to have a decent GPU for things like training, though. With so many things to try, what are you going to create? Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way. 